The massive nests of sociable weavers. Their nests are the largest structures built by a colony of birds in the world. Their nests can weigh up to a ton and measure as much as 7 meters wide and 4 meters high. Their nests can contain from 200 to 300 chambers and be home to up to 500 birds. They nest in arid and semi-arid areas. They can nest in a quiver tree, in an acacia tree, even in a eucalyptus tree. on a phone pole or even on the back of a road sign. These birds build the entire nest structure with dry grass stems. Each pair build their own nesting chamber in this massive superstructure. The nesting chambers are on the underside of this communal nest. So each pair reach their own nesting chamber via their own tunnel leading up from below. The tunnel entrance is protected by having the spiked grass stems all pointing inwards. The nest cup is lined with fine soft grass and soft grass inflorescences. New chambers are added to the edges of the superstructure as the colony grows. Many different birds and mammals use these superstructures as their homes. The following birds have been known to occupy a chamber in these large nests, the red-headed finch and the grey tit, the scaly-feathered finch, now weaver, and the rosy-faced lovebird. African pygmy falcons often occupy a chamber in the weaver's nest and they are known to also eat the chicks of the sociable weavers. And some snakes prey on sociable weavers' nestlings and they may occupy a chamber in the large nest, the boomslang and the cape cobra. And these mammals are known to rest on top of these massive nests, the leopard, cheetah and a chakma baboon. This pair of pale chanting goshawks are eating their prey on top of a massive nest attached to a phone pole. These weavers roost at night in their nesting chambers all year round, even in non-breeding season. These weavers possibly only breed in response to rainfall. In wet years, the breeding season can last for up to nine months. 
it is thought that they do not breed at all during prolonged droughts. If the food supply runs out during a breeding season, the eggs and nestlings will be evicted from the nest. The clutch can consist of three to four eggs. The incubation period is 14 days by both sexes. Nestlings and fledging period is 21 to 24 days and the nestlings are fed by both parents. These massive super nests are well insulated and are a buffer against extreme temperatures. They are cool in summer and warm and cozy in winter. I really love these sociable weavers and it's always a treat to see them at their nests in these arid areas. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments you have down below.